five seconds. Sir, regarding the capital gains, I would suggest that previously in the case of capital gains, if the money was deposited in the nationalized bank for a period of three years, then no capital gains tax was paid, but at the same time government has no money for circulation. It is for consideration whether the government is benefiting by the present system or it was benefiting more by the previous system and if necessary, if you increase the period from three years to five years, I suppose more money will be available for circulation and use. Sir, I would like to mention that in the case of wealth tax, one car is exempted. Now, the value of the car is around rupees 75,000, I suppose. I do not know which car comes for rupees 75,000 these days. The minimum price of car in India is about rupees 2 lakh and if I am correct, then this must be looked into and we must adopt a realistic approach. I now come, sir, to the Ministry of Health. The Constitution of India lays down that the state shall strive to raise the level of nutrition and the standard of living of its people and the improvement of public health is among its primary duties and functions. Now, can we really honestly say that this is being done? What is the position today in our hospitals? There are strikes every day. There is go slow every day. Then there is the shortage of medicines. There is the shortage of beds and there is the shortage of hospitals. So, it is absolutely necessary that more provision should be made for hospitals and for medical care of the people because this is one of the essential items and we need more hospitals and better care of health. Sir, the Ministry of Home Affairs allocations are quite generous. The well-being of our people should be there. The people, particularly the minorities and the scheduled castes, and scheduled tribes have a feeling of uneasiness and that feeling of uneasiness has to be removed by improving the law and order situation. There has been a long-standing demand for a paramilitary force. I do not understand why there is delay in having a mixed type of paramilitary force because this will restore the confidence of the weaker sections of the people. 
सर सिमिलरली आई वुड लाइक टू पॉइंट आउट दैट द माइनॉरिटीज कमीशन हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड बट वॉट इज इट्स फंक्शन इट इज ओनली एन एडवाइजरी बॉडी नो बडी केयर्स फॉर इट्स रिपोर्ट नो बडी केयर्स फॉर इट्स सजेशंस एंड देयर फॉर दिस माइनॉरिटीज कमीशन शुड बी गिवन स्टेटरी पावर और अदरवाइज इट शुड बी एबोलिश्ड बिकॉज आई फील दैट वट एवर एक्सपेंडिचर वी आर इनकरिंग नाउ ऑन दिस माइनॉरिटीज कमीशन इज वेस्ट बिकॉज दे आर नॉट डूइंग एनी यूजफुल वर्क एंड इट इज नो फॉल्ट ऑफ देयर्स बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट इक्विप्ड दैम वी हैव नॉट गिवन दैम एडिक्वेट पावर्स वी हैव नॉट provided them necessary facilities to do their work not only at the center but even in the states this is a matter for the home ministry to consider sir another commission that has been appointed is the subordinate services commission this commission consists of only two people chairman and a member why can't we have three or four members this commission is like the upsc if they have to perform their task of recruitment they have to be provided facilities the commission should be expanded and provided with one or two more members this shall enable greater amount of clarity in understanding among the members no doubt the finance minister has been very liberal comparatively this time but it is still not enough adequate funds have not been provided for essential services for the capital the population of delhi is more than 1 billion people what is happening today even the essential services have been outstripped by the requirement of the people the main problem is the transport water supply and electricity are also main problems it is therefore very necessary that additional allocations should be made for these items for delhi transport problem particularly in a big or metropolitan city cannot be solved by operating a few hundred or a thousand buses we must provide something better the only solution that can meet the requirements of a city like delhi is the rapid transport system a rapid transport system should be provided for delhi irrespective of the cost involved because cost is not the only consideration the consideration is that the people should get the facility and that facility has to be provided and should be provided as early as possible the ministry of transport is responsible for the transport problem of the whole country india is one of the 
countries which has the largest network of roads therefore we have to ensure that proper type of transport facilities are provided in rural urban and metropolitan areas also stop